Hey guys, it is Blackman here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, hi. <laughs> Before we get started with the video today, I'm gonna tell you guys really quickly that I am a daily, not a daily vlogger. I am a vlogger and I vlog about three times a week. If you guys are interested in watching that, you should check this channel out, the one that you're watching right now. Hi. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you're about to watch. This is a little different than stuff that I usually do. It is a lip, um, is it a lip product addict tag? So, um, I haven't did a tag in a really long time, so I'm excited about doing this one. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So, we're just gonna jump in to it. So, the first question is, what is your favorite balm or treatment? So, my favorite balm is just that normal Burt's Bees uh, lip balm. That's my go-to. I know that a lot of people do like the fancy lip uh, product care or whatever. I don't do that. I'm I'm a $4 girl. Get this for 3 or $4 and keep it moving. Um, I've lost so many of these though, so like, it, it's insane. But I use this or I do a sugar scrub, which I make myself with just olive oil and sugar and whatever. So the next question is, what is your favorite eye catching red? So I have about five or six reds and I, mean, I don't like reds on myself though. I love reds on other people. I get so jealous when I see people with like these bomb reds and their lips just look like they just came straight out of like the 1940s or something and they just look amazing. But I'm not one who can really wear a red really well. I've tried. That's why I have about five or six of them. But the only one that I found that really looks like great on me is Avenue by ColourPop. And I do. I love this red. I think this red is absolutely amazing. And it's going to always be a fave of mine. This is it right here. I think this is described as a yellow based red. I don't really know the difference between the reds. But this <laughs> that's my dog. Sorry. This is the one that probably looks the best on me, in my opinion. It's Avenue by ColourPop, if I didn't already say that. So, next question. I'm reading the questions off of my iPad, if you're wondering. The next question is the best luxury and drugstore product. I am actually not a luxury lipstick user. I don't have any luxury lipsticks. I do have Higher End, which I guess would be like MAC. Anastasia Beverly Hills and like Kat Von D. I have those but as far as like actual luxury I don't have any so I'll just go with like high-end which that would be Heathers by Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. This is literally amazing. This makes me so happy. It's a liquid lipstick. It's liquid to matte and I recommend this to anyone who loves a good liquid lippy. It's only $20 like so worth it. And then my best drugstore are my Maybellines. I love Maybellines. I'm a matte user. I don't really have too many lipsticks that don't finish matte. But this creamy matte formula by Maybelline is a go-to. This is actually like my everyday right here. Touch of Spice. I mix this with a brown liner. Freaking amazing. This is definitely the way to go, kids. If you're going for drugstore and you want a good matte lipstick definitely pick you up a Maybelline the next question is my best MAC lipstick so for me that's actually a tie I love two MAC lipsticks like equally I can't choose between my babies I feel like I would be betraying either one of them so the first one is Viva Glam 3 and I'm actually wearing that one right now I don't know if you guys can see but that's this one right here, Viva Glam 3. It's a mauve kind of color. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's beautiful and it is a matte finish. And the next one is Sand by MAC, which is that vampy burgundy color that is perfect for the fall or perfect for any time of year if you love vampy colors, which is literally me. It doesn't matter if it's spring or if it's summer, or if it's winter, or if it's fall, I'm wearing a vampy color because that's my zhuzh. So the next question 
question the next question the next question is okay now i'm sorry <laughs> the next question is most disappointing lip products now this is probably gonna surprise a few people but i ordered from mac the liquid lipsticks that they came out with first of all they were latest fucks of the game but anyway um so they i've ordered high drama for mac which is obviously like i said the liquid lipstick and i got it and it was like everything that you could ever want in a liquid lipstick it finished to a beautiful matte it was like creamy and buttery going on it had a beautiful uh fragrant fragrance a beautiful fragrance and it was just like everything you wanted until it actually dried down and five minutes into wearing it it started cracking on my lips like all in like this like middle area right there it just completely cracked like crumbled i took my finger across it one time and it completely crumbled off of my lips went all on my shirt like it was just an absolute and utter catastrophe like i would never ever order a liquid lipstick from them again maybe it was just a bad batch because my friend has one she has the red one dance with me and she said she doesn't have that problem but for me that was a deal breaker i sent it back and got a refund it was so sad too and that one so burning now um next question is lip liner yes or no uh ladies yes yes I love me a good lip liner um I'm still discovering exactly how to work it and make it look like amazing I'm pretty good with like you know mixing a brown with a nude and like stuff like that but I want to get even better with being able to do like ombre looks or just like just being like super talented with the lip liners I haven't quite figured that out yet but I'm working on it um next question is favorite lip gloss so here's the thing kids i don't like lip gloss i hate lip gloss in fact i despise it it's it's just i'm never ever 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 gonna like it it doesn't matter um how hard i've tried to like lip gloss i can't do it i used to like it when i was younger when i was a kid you know that was like the closest thing that you could wear to like your mom's lipstick or something was a, a tinted lip gloss but i just i don't like it anymore it's so sticky and tacky and just gross and i hate it so yeah um and now the final question is something else and i'm gonna answer that with i'm gonna show you guys what i um keep all of my lip products in so the first is gonna be this um 12 slot acrylic organizer I don't know so I have most of my Macs in the front and then in the back I have most of my Maybellines not all of my Maybellines I have a few more that are not in here and then I have a Milani and then I have one more Mac in the back so this is 12 I put these 12 lipsticks in here hope you guys can see this I got this from Walmart for like I want to say like three or four bucks and next I have this owl cup where I hold my room spray <laughs> that I can't use because it's summer and it smells like winter candy apple yeah, yeah, yeah so anyway this is where I hold my ColourPop lipsticks I got this little mug from Marshalls for about two or three bucks something like that probably like three bucks and it was so pretty and I instantly thought I cannot drink tea or coffee out of this this has to be for makeup and because I'm not a big like face makeup person so I don't have a lot of brushes I thought that this would be perfect to put my ColourPop lip bees in because they have like this you know this um silver top so yeah they're usually cuter the way they're organized in here but not to get child I don't care but yeah, I put those in there, and the last and final thing that I use to organize my lippies is this right here. And I. <laughs> okay. Alright. That was. Wow. And we're back. 
I'm not even gonna edit that out because that was so true to who I am as a person. Like I'm all I'm so clumsy and just a mess. Anyway, I have this three drawer organizer that I use to hold the rest of my lip products. I actually don't like this one and I really want another one, but I haven't found one that meets my needs that aren't like that isn't like a crazy amount of money. I hate the only thing I don't like about it, it's a perfect size for the products that I have. But this, I hate this like shower glass. Like, I hate that. That's so ugly to me. I like how the sides are clear, but this is like, I hate it. Anyway, so I have these up there. I have these right there. And I have these, oops, stay with it. <laughs> I have these down here. Um. So yeah, eventually I'll do like a lipstick, um, what is it called, a lipstick collection. There we go, I have to dance it out. Uh, eventually I'll do a lipstick collection, but not right now. I don't feel like I even have enough. I have like 52 lipsticks. I don't feel like I have enough to do like an actual lippy collection, but eventually um, I'll do that for you guys if you're interested. And since I just pulled this drawer out, I'm going to bring to you guys' attention because I have a lipstick video coming up soon. I will be doing a review on these Lena Lashes lippies right here. I have six of them. I'll be doing a swatch and a review on these. Stay tuned for that because I feel like there have been a lot of mixed signals on YouTube as far as these particular lippies and mostly because a lot of the YouTubers, a lot of the upper YouTubers get paid or get free products to make videos on these and sometimes they aren't truthful. I'm not saying everyone isn't, but some of them are not truthful and they don't go into the nitty gritty about what exactly these lippies are and how well they stay on your lips and if they crack and crumble. So I'll be giving you guys all the tea, so get your, your tea cups ready. But anyway, that's how I store all of my makeup. That is my lip product addict tag. Like I said before, if you guys enjoyed that, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a friend because that's how these channels grow. So be sure to check out my vlogs and I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.